Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That. We're the channel that talks about music, news, entertainment, and much more. And we do these Tech Tuesdays. So we're back with Trace with some of the questions that we had within Trace. And today's question is about the downloading. Now I know um, the question was kind of a two-part question. Actually, I would say three-part because we've had more than just, you know, one or two questions in regards to this. This is about downloading from Trace directly. We have done some other videos about OBS and how to screen record it if you're a little bit more advanced in editing and know a little bit more about that system. But we've also talked about how to download that system and uh, a little bit more content in other videos. So do watch those if you are looking to do it that way. Uh, now, Trace does allow you to download video segments or highlights as you see if there's if your player, depending upon which player you have selected, you can download each individual segment here, depending upon those uh, segments, or you can download the whole game. Now, you can do this for free as long as your club uh, you know, has you either uh, registered as like an admin for it or a uh, the main person that controls it like itself here. Um, typically, you would get that for free. Now, if you're not or you're, you're a parent or you're uh, a player or whoever it may be that doesn't have the capability of um, being registered as that or they didn't pay for that as a whole, uh, Trace does offer it as a monthly fee. You'll see it all in there so you can look on you know Trace as far as the systems um, and what you know subscriptions they have. Uh, it's usually, I think it's like $15 a month and you can get, you know, unlimited downloading. They have a, you know, sharing a cloud base and it just downloads to your cloud files wherever you download it. So that's the bad thing is it goes on to their cloud. So you got to make sure you do pay for it or you got to hurry up, make sure you edit all those videos that you're going to be doing or the, the content that you're going to be pulling. So if you are paying like a monthly fee, and you paid the first month, and let's say the, the second month, you decided not to have it anymore, uh, and you had a bunch of stuff in their cloud base, you may not get it unless you repay again for that next month. Um, but the capability is there on Trace. Uh, so you just click on this link here to download it. So as you see here, the downloading link is right here. So you just click there and you click on download the highlight. So you can either click you know, download the full game, but it's it's really not necessary to download the full game unless you want it that way. Um, but it'll save it on that cloud base and you can pull it off and put it onto your computer system and put it into files and save it. I would recommend doing that just in case the cloud gets lost or something. I just, that I don't rely on a lot of the things with the cloud. I mean, it's nice that it's there, uh, but it's actually a lot easier to have it on your system. So that way, if something happens, you have a backup. So you just click here and then you just click uh, download highlight now. Um, so when the highlight gets downloaded, it does take a little bit. Um, you can't see it on my computer. That's why I looked over to the other secondary recording screen. Um, you can't see it there, but it's up in my corner. And usually depending upon if you have Apple, um, uh, Microsoft, Google, whatever you're using, it'll show on your download link it, that it's actually downloading. It doesn't take too, too long. Now, of course, if you're downloading a whole game, it takes a long time to do. Uh, typically, the download uh, might take anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute. As you see, it's scanning um, and it's uh, downloaded now into my filing system. As you see, the Dropbox came down with all the different things that have been downloaded. So once you want to do that, you can go to your click on your downloads, pull that file over, save it into your file. Or as I said, they'll save it into the cloud depending upon uh, where it goes. But I recommend saving it on your computer. So that way you can go through and you can edit it if you have an editing program. And as I said, look for uh, future videos as far as editing uh, Trace. We, we do use uh, DaVinci. We also use Shotcut as editing programs. There's many different other editing programs out there that are great. So if you're familiar with editing, I would watch those segments too as well. And that'll help uh, with the editing of your videos that so we'll see on the next trace video.